You know, the big news out of Aero 2012 in Germany today was the unveiling of the Pipistrel Pantera, a four-place, very speedy, very efficient airplane. Now, most companies don't want you to see their brand new airplane until it looks like this. However, about six weeks ago, we got into the Pipistrel plant to see the prototyping process. This is Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb. We're going to talk to Tino Tomasevich uh, about the prototyping process and get a very rare view of uh, how these airplanes are put together for the first time. We are here in early March for an exclusive insight into the prototyping of the Pipistrel's new Pantera four-seat high-performance cruiser. Um, the Pantera is a true four-place, 1,000 nautical mile range airplane with retractable landing gear, 200 horsepower and a cruise speed of 200 knots on 10 gallons per hour. The airplane's maximum takeoff weight is 1,200 kilograms, which translates to 2,700 pounds. It fits four big-sized adults and it has enough payload to actually carry four big-sized adults the full 1,000 nautical miles range. The wingspan is 37 feet, it's 27 feet long, so it's not a huge airplane, but it packs some really great features. Uh, we use an advanced fuel-injected Lycoming engine, which can use uh, fuels other than Avgas, so it's clean, it's ready for the future. We have a titanium landing gear. We have a cockpit with a really great exterior view, just one central pillar. It's similar to a helicopter-style cockpit, greatly imp improving uh, the safety of flight. We can operate from grass runways because the undercarriage has a full trailing link uh, execution. We have lots of baggage space, we have an air conditioner, and uh, there is the parachute rescue system on board the airplane, standard. Pipistrel is known to be building airplanes um, because of aerodynamics. We have done all the aerodynamic features ourselves, including, including the airfoil. Uh, the wing is extremely clean. All of the control surfaces and the control rods systems are integral, so there's nothing sticking out. The shape of the fuselage and the transition between the fuselage and the wing has been closely modeled with CFD and a lot of analysis have been put in to be uh, able to achieve optimal airflow. Um, we have achieved similar performance already with the Virus SW, which cruises on 147 knots using the 100 horsepower Rotex engine at 75% power. We've worked a lot about uh, making the cockpit experience for the pilot of the Pantera as great as possible, and part of it is the uh, really amazing visibility out of the cockpit. You can see the door already fitted, and all of the missing bit is actually what the glass will be. So the view from the cockpit is really incredible. It resembles a helicopter almost. There is only one central pillar which doesn't bother you when you're looking straight away, and uh, all the way to the right until your shoulder, there's nothing to, to interfere with your view side. Also, getting in and out of the cockpit is extremely easy because the whole door is massive and opens up uh, gull, gull wing style. It's really comfortable. It looks small on the outside, but it's big on the inside. It has a really ergonomic, a really, a really ergonomic cockpit with uh, enhanced visibility. So there's no other airplane with such visibility from the cabin as Pantera has. It can comfortably go on grass fields and it can cruise really quickly with a small amount of fuel. Pricing is not exactly uh, set up yet, but we are talking 350,000 euros for the certificated version and just below 300,000 euros for the experimental version or a kit build if somebody wants it. Uh, we want to position it above Diamond's DA40 and uh, well below the Cirrus SR22, which is sort of the, sort of the benchmark for cruise speed but uh, that airplane cruises on 17 gallons an hour, whereas the Pantera cruises on 10. So we have lots of pre-orders from existing, let's say, family members, if you want, uh, but definitely somebody who wants to go a long way, really efficiently, and somebody who is not afraid of future technologies. Pantera will eventually be also offered with a hybrid powertrain and all-electric for training. For more information on the Pantera, watch AvWeb's continuing coverage of Aero 2012 or go to pipistrel.si. This has been Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb from Idovchina, Slovenia. Thanks for watching.